Mission Services has been serving the Hamilton community now, believe it or not, for decades, literally decades, and they mostly rely on volunteers. To tell us why volunteering is so important uh, to Mission Services, we're now joined by Wendy Kennelly. Wendy, welcome to Cable 14. Nice to see you. Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. Uh, listen, you've been with this organization for, for quite some time now. You've seen the highs, the lows. You've seen what this city is, is, has gone through and what we're currently going through. Correct. Um, your perspective on, on, on what we're seeing and, and how Mission Services plays such a critical role in helping some of our individuals here. Uh, it's obvious that our city is in a crisis at the moment in terms of homelessness, you know, food insecurity. Mm. We uh, offer a wide range of uh, programs and services sort of across all areas and volunteers play a really critical role in helping us with that. I, I've always been told or, and have heard, and I kind of agree with this, Hamilton is the volunteer capital of the world. Because you're right, so many organizations can't do it without the volunteers who, who basically are giving their time back for one reason or another. The volunteers that you have, how many programs do they kind of have to oversee and run on a daily basis? Well, as I said, we have a really wide range of programs and services. So yeah. we run a um, VAW shelter, Violence Against Women shelter. So we have volunteers who help out there. Mm -hmm. They're helping in the kitchen. They're helping run social groups. They're helping in some of our programming with the children and youth in the house. And, and sometimes these volunteers are, they're just a, a, another shoulder to lean on, another set of ears to listen or another voice to, to be heard, right? Absolutely. I mean, our goal is always to ensure that our volunteers have as rewarding an experience back as how they are helping our, our clients yeah, and the people yeah. who access our services. And, and, and your clients over the years have definitely risen. There's more and more people coming through your doors. Definitely. We are seeing large increases. I mean, the, the VAW sector, you know, I mentioned Inasmuch House is our VAW shelter, uh, has seen a spike in numbers of women, children, mm -hmm. you know, looking for support and assistance. Our f food bank is seeing huge numbers. Our shelters are constantly bursting full. Bursting at the seams. Bursting at the seams, yes. Yeah, yeah. To become a volunteer for Mission Services, what type of criteria do they have to fit into? Do, do you require background checks? What do you look for in that perfect volunteer? Well, everybody okay. <laughs> can be the perfect volunteer. Yeah. I mean, we have so many opportunities because we have such a wide range of services. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity for all different kinds of people. So you can come in with existing skills, you can come in and learn new skills. I mean, we do background checks uh, on all of our volunteers. Our, our um, in as much house, the VAW shelter does require that that police check is in prior to you starting volunteering. Yeah. Um, just because we are working with such you know marginalized individuals. It, it makes complete sense. And, and then, as they are going through and, and their work, volunteers are, are they allowed to? You know what? Yeah really happy with what I'm doing here but I'd like to maybe go and help out and experience this side of things can people kind of move around with absolutely their we're you know our goal again is to make sure that their experience is yeah. rewarding for them that you know they're helping us they're doing something incredibly meaningful but we want it to be meaningful mm -hmm. to them as well and, and of course you always like to give back to the community we just had the Hamilton Cardinals come in and Eric and Joey great job they have a new uh, promotion with you find folks all season with mission services I think it's you know strikeout back and three dollars is going back into the community for every strikeout and I think just something small like that it's important absolutely so I think you know we are, are we are always in need of people who can give time can give time perhaps on a you know weekly basis or monthly basis we're looking for you know companies you know social groups or whatever to come in and, and volunteer with us but there are other opportunities like you said so for um, individuals to organize you know, food drives, you know, toy drives, um, you know, feminine hygiene product drives, those types of things. And, and it's funny, you know, not funny, I shouldn't say that, but you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, that you know, they kind of come and go and there's the big ramp up and then during those other months everything gets quiet again, yet those are the times when your clients require probably the most help. Definitely. Um, those are the high seasons. I think people always think about giving, volunteering, you know, mm -hmm. people as people get together with family and friends to celebrate 
mm -hmm. you know, significant uh, you know, seasonal events. But for us, we are definitely heading into uh, a slow season. Uh, food drives will drop off, although we are very fortunate. The Kirkendall Neighborhood Association is once again doing their huge food drive for us oh, nice. uh, on May the 4th. Um, just drove past the big sign yeah. down the street here uh, <laughs> as I came to park. Um, but families are certainly in need during the summer. Schools are closed, school food programs are no longer running. Yep. Um, so we need assistance in that way as well as time from people. In regards to volunteers, I, I know uh, a lot of kids, once they get into grade 11 and 12, they, they look for co-ops and there's volunteer hours required to graduate. Teenagers, uh, again, with the proper background check, can they get involved with mission services and help out uh, towards their schooling? And, and maybe they might find a passion as well, getting Absolutely. back to the community. No, for sure. We, um we are open to anybody and everybody. Um, I mean, I, I think 16 is our um, starting point. Okay. But we do run our own program. So we have um, some youth programs. We have one called the 196 Plus, and that's kids in grade nine. And we're already working with those kids to help them get their volunteer hours so that they're starting high school and hopefully they've completed by the end of grade nine all the hours that they actually need to graduate. And then we're encouraging them to continue to gra uh, volunteer. Listen, no, no one says uh, it's, it's an easy road, and we know there's a lot of people out there who are less fortunate. Um, but again, what Mission Services, what you, your crew, volunteers do, it's, I, I know it's so appreciative. And you must, you must get a warm sense from time to time from people that come up and say, Wendy, thank you. Thank you for what you and your team are doing. We have a fantastic staff team. We have fantastic volunteers, mm -hmm. and we really couldn't you know, do what we do without that full group of people, all of the support that we get. People want to get involved before we wrap up here. What is the best way? How should people be prepared? How should they uh, come to Mission Services if they want to volunteer? Position? If you go to our website, www.mission-services.com, mm -hmm. um, you'll find all kinds of information there. You can reach out to us, you can call, you can send an email if you, you know, are looking for you know, further information. We're there to help, mm -hmm. help you join us. Ha have a resume. Are you? It's kind of like a job. You go through a couple interviews yeah. as well, make sure the fit is there and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No. Good stuff. Wendy, to you and your team, thank you.